Hey guys, welcome back and happy Saturday. All right, guys, well, we're back to talk about some interesting information because if you guys are watching The Real Housewives of New Jersey, then you know that Margaret Josephs and Teresa just got into a really, really cringe kind of back and forth. Teresa literally took everything on the table and threw it Margaret's way, called her white trash, said she would beat her ass like it did not stop. It got a little a little wild to say the least. And I was just shocked at it all. Then of course, Tamara Judge came out on two T's in a pod and leaked the information knowing because she was a housewife at one point that when Teresa and Louie actually left the Nashville home that they were staying in to stay in a hotel, it was not because they wanted to, it was because the producers were like, no girl, you gotta go. You and Louie, you gotta go. Now we keep hearing, especially on the show, that Teresa is accusing Margaret Josephs of pretty much talking to a specific blogger, digging up information on Louie and his past and bringing it to the show for a storyline. I was wondering what blogger it was. Well, of course we have the name now, we have all the details and this specific blogger who I'm actually friends with is addressing all of the claims. Guys, that's David Yanti from Behind the Velvet Rope and he's addressing claims that Margaret Josephs leaked stories to him. Plus the Real Housewives of New Jersey star claims well, she's slamming the claims and clarifies her relationship with Louis X. Guys, we have all the details and more, but before we jump in, if you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And with that, well, let's do the damn thing. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so it looks like Margaret Josephs is speaking out about her connection to both Louis Ruelas' ex, Vanessa Riser, and David Yanti, host of the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast. After being accused of leaking stories about Teresa's fiance to bloggers amid the currently airing 12th season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Margaret responded to a post on Instagram that showcased Vanessa thanking her for a necklace and a post on Twitter that featured David who has also been seen with Vanessa at her mother, Marge Sr.'s birthday party. So Teresa was right. Marge does know Louis X, and she is besties with a blogger. He was also seen at Marge Sr.'s birthday party. The bitchy housewife declared on Instagram on April 14th. Louis X is thirsty and unhinged. She even does Real Housewives of New Jersey after shows with Dana and Talks Bravo all the time. No wonder Teresa did what she did. She knew exactly what was going on behind her back. Who is this sick and disgusting liar? Ooh, okay. Following the post, Margaret offered a response, noting that she and David, who is not a blogger, are friends and clarifying that Vanessa had simply purchased a necklace from her company. Now that you have uncovered the Da Vinci Code, let me set it straight, Margaret began in her response. We're all friends with David, and he's a podcast host, not a blogger. The last photo is from the season finale party at Dolores's. He was invited to when we all found out about the orchestrated hair pool by Teresa, and he was invited to March Sr.'s birthday, amongst other events. Louise X did purchase a warrior necklace from the company that we made for breast cancer. She tagged me, you are not a genius. She states in her video, she bought it. Margaret continued, I would tag every news outlet and fan site then ran <laughs> that ran endless stories, but it's too many to mention. Okay, Margaret, with the clapbacks, we're here for it. Days prior, a man on Twitter shared a couple of photos, in one of which featured David on an episode of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and another that showed him with Louis X, who said that they were enjoying a great night with friends. How is Margaret going to sit there and pretend that she had no connection to Louis X when this man literally caught... He was caught at March Sr.'s birthday last episode. Like, just own it, girl. This is the thing, too, though. Hold on. I got to set this straight, especially for David Yanti. I am also friends with a lot of Bravo celebrities, with people who are on reality TV shows. I have a few housewives who are good friends, and it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that they're feeding me information or that I'm getting extra tea. No, they're actually pretty tight lipped about most of this. And my job, and David's job is to do interviews for upcoming, you know, like to promote what do they have upcoming, whether it's being on the show, a new book, you know, maybe there's something that we just saw on the show and we want them to clarify it. Usually that's why we have them on the show. And if they choose to spill something that maybe we don't know, then that's an added bonus. But nine times out of 10, at least for me personally, nobody's really leaking stuff to me, at least not from the actual camps of the people who are on the show. Sometimes it might be like production insiders or something like that, but it's usually not the actual talent. 
Amid the controversy, David is speaking out with a statement of his own, telling Reality Blurb that despite Teresa's suspicions, he and Margaret have not teamed up against Louis, nor has Margaret leaked any information. It seems Teresa Judice thinks I'm a blogger, or the internet now does, in some mastermind scheme to take down Louis Ruelas in conjunction with Margaret Josephs. I am the host of a top-rated Bravo podcast, Behind the Velvet Rope, where I interview Bravo celebrities and housewives five days a week. David said, anything newsworthy said on my show is said by the guest of the day, not myself, which have included such great guests as Lala Kent, Countess Luann Delisep, Sutton Strap, Craig Conover, and many more. Like he legitimately is constantly doing interviews. David Yonti kills it with the interviews. As someone who works constantly, all of my friends are in the media industry, he continued. One of the friends happens to be Margaret Josephs, who I have known for many, 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 many years. Margaret is like family to me, believe it or not. When Margaret and I hang out, we have much better things to talk about than Louis. I love the shade, David Yontif. According to David, Margaret isn't responsible for the negative press Louis has gotten in recent months, as most of what's been shared online is public record. Margaret has never leaked anything to me. To be honest, if something does not happen on air behind the velvet robe, I simply don't care. I'm too busy interviewing actual housewives daily to worry about who said what to whom regarding Louis and Teresa. Also, Teresa's argument is inherently flawed that there are public court records of various lawsuits against her fiance, as well as a viral video, he noted. No one needs to say anything. Google is all someone would need. Regardless, neither my day job of running the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast nor my several years of friendship with Margaret Josephs will be ending anytime soon, anytime in this lifetime. So any more chatter on the matter is just a waste of everyone's time. Nonetheless, mine. Okay, now we know that we're getting the continuation of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. The drama will be continued and it's going to be crazy explosive. I wanna see what happens when Margaret and Teresa actually see each other face to face in Nashville and how is this going to play out? But I wanna hear what your opinions are. What do you think about David Yontif clearing his name? And honestly, I knew when I found out it was David Yontif, I don't think Margaret, she doesn't need to, this is the point. She does not need to leak any information because like David said, like they both said, this is all public record. That is a viral video. Your exes are taking you to court. That's public record. Then they're wanting to talk about it. Your exes are going on people's podcasts. One of his exes actually went on with Dana Wilkie. They're talking about it. Margaret Josephs doesn't have to do any of this. And I'm not just defending her because we're going to be seeing her April 28th at City Winery in New York City. I was trying to put a little plug in there. See that, guys? Go to spillingtlive.com. But I am saying just because... You know, I, I know and I've worked around everyone long enough. I feel like this is just an obvious no-brainer. Teresa wants to believe that Margaret Josephs was leaking stuff, but it's not the case. Guys, go ahead and comment below. What are your thoughts? And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. With that, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.